So, grief. Not always the prime motivation for music. But what I find interesting is how good grief is the expression for this because we've made something that isn't technically good, good. Let me explain that just a touch before you back out. It's good grief because we need to get it out. Psychology says the stages of grief are all the level of them, the spectrum of acceptance. Before you do that though, it's disbelief, and the stages of anger, sadness, depression, and later happiness, depending on how that goes. The magnitude of whatever it is you find valuable that no longer has the integrity or possesses the same qualities that its original satisfactory conditions provided for you. For whatever reason, that information has upset you and we express these things. Grief, part of it. There is a Somewhere it's Bible, it's called Psalms. So, I'm sure I'm not saying that correctly, but, anyways, uh, it's the poetry that I find interesting. How everyone's got their own spin on that. So, some of us have created. certain sections of that spectrum getting stuck in the wobble because you monetized it in a way that's not exactly valuable. It doesn't mean all of you do it this way because that does need to happen. What I find interesting is often the ones growing keep the stage and the ones that do not. Not necessarily always because they didn't want to. Um, sometimes they grow out of it very quickly and do something else. That's, that's a large bit of growth, but there's a large bit either way. So, sad music, happy music, joyful music, triumphant music. Uh, there's a lot of different types of music. But it's all one thing, music. Life and the song itself is like music to me also. I love music as well. So, like that, sometimes if you make a monetized effort in any of those areas without seeing the big picture, then you spend a lot of time Doing things you would do anyway, without giving us what we need. What we need is your victories. What we need is your success without society's more adult version of life. Think about your innocence and what it means to you before life was a subject. When it just was life and it was fun because you were the center of everyone's attention. Not always is it like that. Like I said, there are variables that get stuck because they don't know anything else. That's true. But you gotta be brave enough to venture into other places and other places need to be less resistant to things that want to be like you, even though they don't look like it. We are. We might have tattoos, we might have uh, stories. Some like to tell them and laugh and do all of that. Let them. It's a good to at least know it's funny. Now, if it is, they're still healing. And that's how we do it. And you could help us heal by showing us how to be humble.
with that information in your own way. It's not for us, but if you're not getting upset, then you, the being, are being humble with us, which is the way it works. I gave you something I did not possess already. Likewise, that means I'm locked in. And that's where we are. That's the golden rule to do. Treat others as you would treat yourself, but you have to have it in yourself to treat others the same way. So make sure that you do. Share conversations. Be genuinely interested. Uh, and yes, that doesn't mean every conversation is a good conversation. Find effective ways to diffuse individuals and also do what you need to do. Be tactful with your words. There are ways. It's possible. I was thinking of it earlier. Not right now. So anyway, music. Um, life is the song itself. It's never finished till you're finished. But let's not think about where it ends because even the silence all the secret songs, you know, beyond this world. And we all know. That's for you, the individual. That doesn't dismiss our capabilities or any of the advancements that, was, that we've made or the individuals that have kept it from us for as long as they have. It's possible that we were reverse engineering and needed time. I'll give it that. How much time, I don't know. That's not up to me. It's possible while we were reverse engineering that our insignificant minds sometimes thought too much about certain things. It was very simple. It's just advanced. But where and from, when and how, you know? So unsupervised secret program Conspiracy this, conspiracy that. But what I find interesting is it's all music to me. No matter how you feel, we're going to write about it. We'll either be the ones like the Banderas <laughs> uh, playing the Titanic while it's going down, or we'll just have people playing because we love to. And that's a really good skill. It's good. You're going to have a conclusion to trauma, tell us about it, please. Show us in a way that makes sense. Most individuals don't like being screamed at, most. But that isn't because we don't appreciate you doing what you do, we do. It's just because most of the time we grow out of it. What I find interesting is once you've done that and you've recorded it like that for yourself and others, I often go back and reminisce on the songs when I need to. Just certain ones. Not all of them. So I'm just right to write. Music first, lyrics later. Or excuse me, lyrics first, music later. Yes. It doesn't matter anymore. Confucius say, because Confucius was. And if you're speaking confu for Confucius, that's confusing. Thank you. So yeah, I'm not trying to be Confucian today. What I am trying to do is, and if not effectively haven't already, give you the idea of what music is capable of. It is healing. To reminisce is fine, but if you find yourself looping back into hard feelings, make sure it's not because it's monetized, and make sure that that message matches what we're really aiming for. Because what I found is, most of the time, it is not. Does that mean I've outgrown it? No. I still appreciate it. Will it be there in the future? Yep. That's just the way it is, for now. Until it's not. Will it ever not be that way? I don't know. Will I fight? I don't know. Will I fight? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do in the moments. Because those moments, 
right here. I don't want to think about things that aren't happening. That's another thing that tends to happen on stage that I don't like, especially if you're made to repeat these songs a lot. Your growth is slowed down. You could just play through the song, record it, throw it in the back, and then later in life, after you've recorded new songs every day, I used to do that, new song every day. After you recorded a whole bunch, you go, um, I mean, you should, you know, like, Bilbo Baggins, but you didn't know how to do that. Just write a bunch and you go through it. Um, see a reason to hang on to any one particular way of doing it, because at every level we're always doing that. It's not good for the prestige levels to mock the lower levels. It's like taking the child's artwork and saying, yeah. And that's why no one likes you. But no, you've got your castle, got your golden toilet, all your fancy everything. And that's what I mean by you don't need to monetize one little niche or genre. You need to express yourself in all those areas. Get to know what each one is about because it's more of a cultural thing when you really get into the science of what music is and how it became what it is. It's always been what it is. Helps us grow, helps us evolve. I like music without words because it gives everyone the space to express their voice if they like, over those places where we make notes. So, it doesn't matter if it has words or doesn't have words. I find it all appealing at different times. Sometimes I like silence. It just depends. So, anyway, my dog is singing her own song right now. <laughs> she wants to go for a walk. So, I'm done. I just thought that this was an interesting topic. Since everybody likes music, I saw something in that psychologically that could be undone today and still be... Maintained from later days as long as everybody's being humble about what they've done and how they do it. It's okay. Don't be ashamed of yourself too much. At least acknowledge it. I need you to be embarrassed a little. But laugh it off as long as it takes. Don't come at me making something a mess where it isn't. I'm not making a mess. I'm just showing you what I see and how it could be different. Because I'm me. You're not me. That's okay. Come as you are. I don't want you changing that. You shouldn't. That was the point. I don't want to be like you. <laughs> no one does. Um, but you did it. They did it. And it did it. And everything did it. So when you think about that, it really kind of stings a little. But that doesn't mean you're ineffective. You actually have a lot of influence. And with you having all that influence, because of who you are, you can take this note and take it higher. Lower. Or whatever you need to find our balance. Because... Everybody needs to express themselves in different areas that you didn't express yourselves in before. Musically. If you do that, it'll all make sense. It comes to you. So. <sighs> Beautiful thing. And the subconscious picks up time traveling through sound. And you're able to travel these different worlds that way. So music is more than just what you hear. It's a device. It's a tool. And you're only going to get out of it what you allow it to give you. So it's up to you. Not everyone heard that. Not everyone heard that the same way. I encourage you to hear it differently. Play it again. Play it again. Play it again. It'll be different at some point. You don't have to play it again right away. But at some point, play it again. So yeah, we reminisce. That's why. Just to remind ourselves who we are, because you wrote those songs. Those are for you. Um, but sometimes it is for the others. I'm glad it's there. So that's a rebound for that chat that was from way over where and ever. There we go. Done. Uh, and I haven't even had the stage yet. I'd like to. I've got other things that I'm focusing on. A lot of physics. Actually. Books. Turns out I like to read. More than I used to. It's kind of fun. Uh, sometimes it hurts my brain, but hey. It's what I mean, you have to be brave enough to adventure those worlds. If you're not brave enough to do that, well, probably not brave enough to stand up for your rights or do any of those things. 
probably don't know much about <laughs> how it got there. So, not to be rude, but we all need to know these things. I myself am not the best, but I know enough. I haven't gone through it, but also before that, but because my family is genetically more inclined to be lawyers. That's, that's a family, family thing. So, anyway, that doesn't mean every rebel is an all-star. But I do like one that rebels and then faces something pretending to be what it's not. Is it okay to tell something what it isn't if it's in a place or a position of influence? Yes. It's how you say it, though, that matters. Don't get angry. Do that somewhere else because they're just going to laugh you through the spectrum until you're able to talk. Most of them get it. Yeah. And they like your music, too. Just not when you tell them it's about them and that they don't matter to you because they do a lot for us. We always know that. It's our families too. That's an office. I just need us to clean up the parts that aren't listening and remove the things that don't belong. Which are the parts that refuse to listen after you've told them. That's how it works. So we're gonna do that. No one has to go to war. It really should just be handled with words. This name and lame to blame till the end of the world is, is pointless and it's not shining on the remarkable part of humanity that I know we have, which is our heart. Number one, we are capable of cooperating. And number two, we have to want to do that. I do. So there's one. I'm sure there are others. There's a few. So let's honor that. It's bigger than any war because war is solves matter. That is the last resort, but there's no last resort because a last resort says you give up. If you give up, then we're not done talking because I have a few more things to say about that. That's not allowed. We don't give up. That's why I'm still talking. So I'm done talking about that. I think we get it. Again, not to maim lame. That's why we won't do that. Words are important. I use them well. Do it like that. We'll be talking better soon. In the meantime, we have a lot of work to do. So. Don't let there be something where there is nothing. Most of the time, you have no idea what anyone else is thinking, and I would say it's safe to say 98% of the time you do not. You have a 2% chance of being right. Because intuition is only going to go off of what information you have already. If you're not expressed in that way of life well enough, or versed well enough in the other ways of life, you wouldn't understand them well enough to defend yourself for something they probably see already for us as a group effort now. Diversity isn't the problem. It's a unified mind pretending. It's not divided. Also fighting itself when it does. Because we are. So if you've already gotten that far, then you're fine. That's the end of it. So you have a beautiful day. It's about the evening now, I suppose. i am got work to do. And uh, music, music, music. Yep. If you're going to talk to someone, use words wisely. Don't be mean. Or rude. And that's all I got. We're doing that, we're doing okay.